Good morning guys, it is Wednesday, happy hump day, um, and it is already almost half eleven, I haven't vlogged yet because I had just been out for a little bit of breakfast with a friend of mine from where, where I used to work, um, which was really nice, and um, it was a bit of a last minute dot com, I literally got a message half an hour before he came over, So, um, but that was really nice to go and see him and have some breakfast. And yeah, the weather, still crappy, still raining, still grey, but we can see the end of our garden today, which is a bonus because yesterday it was like the gate had gone AWOL, it was so foggy. Plan for today, well, I have the worst muscle soreness from my TJ days at the gym, so it's cardio day today, um, and I'm going to go and spend some time on my computer doing some website stuff. I have a blog post to put up. And yeah, not really sure. Today's going to be probably a pretty short, quiet vlog, I think, because I have quite a lot to get done, so I just need to crack on, really. But I figured I'd better start it and uh, get cracking with the day. Anyway, guys, let's go. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it is now almost two o'clock and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right, we nice. have had, well I've had scrambled eggs, Joe's had toast and ham, our usual, our usual mixture of food. We have, that's we have there, nothing. That's, that's why we got we to go to nothing. Sainsbury's. Mm -hmm. We have nothing in the house. Should we video going to Sainsbury's? I don't know. How exciting that is. That's exciting. I've really done nothing today. I've been doing my terms and conditions. Well it's not that I haven't done anything. I, <laughs> I just haven't recorded anything because it's not very exciting is it? There's nothing more exciting than terms and conditions. That's true. Have you not got a fact of the day or something? Mm. No. In but, other I mean, news, I could find one. we found I a could, channel. I could invent one. Okay, you can invent one. We found a channel on YouTube called I Love the Eight. Was it called I Love the Eighties? Or remember. Everything Eighties or something? Because I wanted to look up Cilla Black. You know, at the end of Surprise Surprise, Cilla Black used to sing the song at the end and then sing How, Surprise Surprise. I'm not going to sing it again. <laughs> And because I couldn't remember all the words, we looked it up and watched that, and then we got to watching Scott and Charlene's wedding off of Neighbours, which, as it turns out, is the worst TV ever. I don't know how we ever thought it was good. Literally, it's a song in the background, and everyone sat around looking miserable as sin. You should check it out, um, because it is so boring. <laughs> I used to love that as well. I used to love Neighbours. I'm sure I... Yeah, I'm sure. Was I around then? Well, I was around yeah. in the 80s, obviously. I was born in 81, but... Can't remember when the wedding was, so. Um, I was probably about, I reckon, 86. Oh, was I, it? I, I so maybe I didn't. Either. I remember people talking about it at school. Oh, when really? I was wow. It was big news. Wow. So we watched that, but also I made a bit of a slip up because I they showed a clip of a girl that I was like, oh yeah, that's um, Gail, that's Paul Daniel's wife. And I meant Paul Robinson, but I was convinced it was Paul Daniel's. I stand corrected. It wasn't Paul Daniel's. <laughs> His wife bless his soul, was Debbie McGee. Everybody knows that, and he definitely wasn't in Neighbours. So there you go. Here is the fact of the day for today, and it comes courtesy of space, and it's a fact of the day about Uranus. And- Your <laughs> Uranus? The- Shh. Uranus? Yeah, Uranus. <laughs> and the fact of the day is that, it's a very brief one, but it's that the average wind speed on Uranus <laughs> is 560 miles per hour. Have a good day. Uranus. <laughs> wow, we're struggling for content today, aren't we? <laughs> no, I'm not. I thought it was quite good content. It's very good. I could tell you a joke. Mm, go on then. Uh, two fish in the tank. One says to the other. Do you know how to drive this thing? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Joe's heard that joke. That's my staple go-to joke. If someone says, if you've got a joke, I'll always tell that one. Or, two parrots on a perch, and one says to the other one, can you smell fish? Just brilliant. Man. So funny. They're timeless. Timeless. Hang Time. on, is that the sun? Timeless comedy. No. So I think it's, it's not raining, I think. I think the sun might be coming out. So you know those times where you think you've got no paper, and then you discover you've got so much paper. I found, well I found this, so I've got the rest of that bit of watercolour paper there and also I've got paper. 
over in here as well. Genuinely didn't know that that stuff was there. Um, just completely forgot what I had. So I'm going to, um, I can use that if this commission goes to plan. Um, so now, I think I said yesterday I was working with some green tones and stuff. I think I showed you a clip of green and blue tones. So um, I'm going to today work on um, laying down some blue and kind of lilac -y tones. I was thinking of going through the double chin of like these tones here. So these are just the two colours, um, cerulean blue and mauve. So I've got that option. And so the colours I used yesterday were cerulean blue and um, emerald, which I can't remember what I've done with a bit of paper now. Are those colours on? Probably around six, probably something around somewhere. But yeah, I think sap green and cerulean blue is quite nice. Really... These are all just the ones I've pre-made. These are quite nice too. Rose madder, cerulean blue. I think I'll think I'll go with this. I think I've got to try that maybe. Don't know. Shall I? Yeah. So cerulean blue and mauve. I think might be might be worth a go. So this is my palette, so no Sorry, and blue. Let's give it a go, let's mix those up. Hi guys, so it's almost four o'clock. It's actually four o'clock. Just made myself a protein shake because I am beyond hungry today. I cannot stop thinking about food and that is definitely going to throw me off my macros a bit in terms of carbohydrate. But we have no food in, nothing. I'm going to buy some egg whites and some cream, light cream cheese, low fat cream cheese so I can make those brownies that were on my blog. I'll link them down below because they're really low in carb and high in protein and just a good way of stacking up my calories and my, my macros. It's so hard when you haven't got enough food in. Um, you either just like go hungry or I mean, you eat nuts and stuff like that. I've got some almonds I can eat. I haven't even got any dark chocolate. <laughs> Sad times. Just working on my terms and conditions still, almost there now with those. Got a few amendments to make and um, yeah, that's it really today. It's been a kind of a weird old day today in terms of what I've got done. I don't feel like I'm working hard enough at the moment um, just because I feel really tired. So I keep wandering off and doing other things. Like I just went upstairs and did a little bit of painting for half an hour because the way I'm practicing, oh Gizmo, you're there. The way I'm practicing my watercolour for my commission um, is just on little scraps of paper just to see what colours I should layer first and how I should do it. So I need to layer them and then walk away for a few hours and let them dry and then come back and put some more on and walk away, so on and so forth. So I'm about to email um, the lettering style over to some, to the lady so she can have a little look. I've got marks on my hand. You see those marks? They're from the blueberries. I've just put in my my shake um yeah that's it it's a it's a non-day i'm afraid guys it's a non-day my work buddy guess who's back a little opportunity as soon as i leant back in my chair boom she's here hey guys say hello to your people Hello, YouTube. You're looking very blonde in this light there, aren't you? Very, very blonde. Yes. Very, very blonde. I don't want to write any more terms and conditions, okay? Stop it. The madness has set in, officially. We're going to Sainsbury's Yay. and you're coming with. Let's go around Sainsbury's Let's go together. To Sainsbury's. Let's go to the Sainsbury's. To the Sainsbury's. Name that film. Just check out this splashy mess 
these are all just really really rough backgrounds for something I'm doing and uh, yeah these are still drying so they don't look their best yet they was better when they've dried off and um, yeah just <laughs> dust stuff everywhere so as you guys would have seen we went to Sainsbury's did our shopping um, just unloaded that got some dinner on very very dark now dinner's on tonight Matthew singing live from the oven we have some lemon sole fish if you guys haven't tried lemon sole it's bloody awesome some sweet potatoes some roast peppers and I'm gonna do us some maybe some sweet corn possibly um, and I managed to pick up some ingredients in Sainsbury's for my brownies you're in the fridge now so um, there's a few things that I got this time to help my my diet along a little bit I hate calling it a diet guys but you know it's just hard to keep saying healthy eating plan or macro friendly or whatever so tomorrow I'm gonna make um, the brownies that I'm linking down below they will move the eggs out of the way um, from my blog recipe so check out the link down below but, but perhaps I'll film some of that as well but I got some 75% less fat soft cheese which I use in the brownies and the macros aren't too bad actually on this um, for 100 grams, there's 300 grams in here, I think. I pretty much use probably two thirds of it. For 100 grams is 110 calories, four grams of fat, 6.8 of carbohydrate, and 11.7 protein. So if I use kind of most of this and I make something like 20 brownies or 25 brownies, then just divide that obviously by that. But um, so that's that. And I also got some egg whites, the two chicks, Edward egg whites. I keep calling them Ed Whites, whoever Ed White is, comment down below. Um, it's such a shame guys that in the UK we don't sell, I mean I know we you can get them from places like Muscle Food and stuff, but just in a regular shops, um, wow, come back to what I'm wowing at in a minute, but in the regular shops you can just get these and this is three quid, which is a lot of money, but it's a bit of a shame, because um, I know in the US you can get like massive things of Egg Whites and it's just much better. I'm just wowing because on the back of this there's an advert for the new two chicks gluten and lactose free pancake mix it's a little advert there I have to check that out if you guys have had that let me know but anyway these are really good if you ever have um, a high protein low carbohydrate low fat diet although I'm on a high fat at the moment but there's that also because I put chocolate in my brownies again I use two or four bits of dark chocolate and I buy dark chocolate every week and in part of my diet I have two bits of dark chocolate a day and per two pieces, 117 calories, 9.1 grams of fat, uh, 6.3 carbs, and 1.5 protein. But also got some with orange in. I love dark chocolate with orange in it. And it's not a lot different, so I got both. Um, and some more raspberry yogurt. So a few things to help me along the way. And I got a four pack of Coke Zero, which Okay, I don't drink a lot of fizzy drinks. Literally in the, in the day, all I drink is water. Bottled water all day long. And now I'm having probably one cup of tea a day, maybe two maximum. So I've cut that right back because I was having more than that. Um, so your water, but then every now and again, when I feel really, really, really super hungry, I will have a load, load of water, but also a Diet Coke or a Coke Zero just to take the edge off. But that's not um, a daily occurrence. I'll buy a four pack and that will last me over a week probably. Um, so yeah, there are a few bits I got shopping and I cannot wait to get dinner down with me tonight. I cannot wait. But for now, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm really sorry the last couple of days haven't been the most interesting. But honestly, I've got so much that I need to do. It's difficult, but hopefully you guys are okay with that. Um, and then maybe, and also the weather's been bad. It has cheered up now, um, which is wonderful. Thank God for that. Um, but hopefully you're, you guys are okay with what I have going on at the moment, vlog-wise. I am now going to go load you guys up on the computer, get you guys uploaded. Um, have to move the bear out of my chair first, though. Hi. Hi. Alright, guys. I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Have a good rest of the evening, rest of the day. I'll see you soon. Bye.